Let's talk about Apocalypse now. This is an interesting film. Uh, it is, it's a Coppola movie, Francis Ford Coppola movie, and Coppola doesn't do bad movies. Coppola did The Godfather, arguably one of the top ten American films of all time. Uh, Coppola did uh, one of my other favorite movies, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Yes, one of the best Dracula's ever made. Ever made. Uh, and uh, Coppola did Apocalypse Now, and... Uh, Wrote the script for the thing, and uh, and it is definitely a a, a damned interesting movie. Uh, I think it has been, I think it's slightly overrated. Uh, saw it once a long time ago, and then I watched it in preparation for our talk today. What's what's your opinion of Apocalypse now, John? I I think that the I think it's been studied and pulled apart in so many different ways that it's hard to look at it anymore as simply a movie to sit down and enjoy or not. Uh, so it's yeah, very that's hard. a very good assessment. That's very good. It's you are supposed to revere the thing. Yeah. And so you go into it with, uh, without an open mind, essentially. Yes. You've already, you're already sold on it. So, so when I, uh, I've watched it half a dozen times over the years, the most recent time I watched it, uh, it was on the big screen, you know, and it was um, very high def and all that stuff. And uh, I found the pacing to be a little bit off, but I still think that it holds up very well. I still think that they got the most out of those actors that they could have. Oh, there's no doubt about it. And, and, and I, I mean, and I, God, I can't imagine the pain that they went through to film those scenes. I mean, that's a lot of, I mean, the stuff that they went through. So, so it's still an impressive movie. It's still a very important movie. But it's hard to view other than through uh, the lens of, of the fact that you're supposed to, as you said, revere it. You're supposed to adore this movie. You know? Well, and I, I, one of the most important things about this movie is the cast. Yes. I mean, you Brando. You, you got Brando and Robert Duvall. Yeah. Working on the same film. Yeah. You know, and and selling, Martin Sheen. Completely and selling. Uh, Completely selling their characters, right? Just completely selling their characters. I mean, Fishburne, Dennis Hopper. You forgot. I forgot about Dennis Hopper. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Usually Hopper's he stands out so much. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, he's just yeah. part of the cast in this one. Yeah, and just it's, part uh, of the cast. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, if you if you watch that acting, it's perfectly appropriate for the, for the character. Hopper was an underrated performer. Hopper knew when to be an obnoxious, hey, look at me, asshole, and he knew how to be a member of the cast as well. Yeah, he knew how to pour it on. He, he knew what yeah. his role was. So he, right. he was going to be that character. Whatever that character was is what he's right. going to be. Yeah. If somebody hasn't seen that movie by now, there's probably a whole bunch of people uh, that have that have seen it, but I think there's a whole bunch that have heard about it so much and they've heard the quotes and the lines and right. they've heard all that stuff, but they've never sat down and watched it beginning to end. It's, uh, it's, it's worth definitely it. worth doing. Yeah, get the longer cut. Yeah, the the, the, they it. added like 20 minutes to that film. Yeah. 25 minutes maybe to the thing. Yeah. It's worth the longer cut. And it's, it's a long movie. It's like a... Uh, it's not quite as long as uh, Seven Samurai, but it's it's in no. excess of three hours. Oh yeah, yeah. It's. I mean, it's a it's a it's a project. You can yeah. feel the dirt. You can feel the grime. You can feel you the can feel the sweat and the heat and the bugs and shit. It's just a, yeah. It's a. It's quite a presentation of 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 things. It really is. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, you know, a whole bunch of people would put that in the top five, but I just think there are better war movies. 